Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back in the Dodge Ram 3500, or the RVM, due to licensing. But, we know what it looks like, we know what it is. We are this time using the Gooseneck. Uh, it has a few different uh, cargo options. Uh, this little mini bulldozer being one of them. And I've seen pipes and some other one. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I think it's pretty neat. It's like the smaller cargo and everything that you do with a truck and trailer. Last one I did, we had the car hauler. Uh, and I've seen on the workshop that somebody's been creating some other trailers for this as well. So, I we guess we'll see uh, what kind of stuff will come out for this truck since it has come out and how many mods, how many different types of mods will come out for it. Can't wait for that one. But, on an upper note, also, uh, my computer shipped today, or was it today? Yeah, today. And it says it should be here by Friday. And hopefully by then, uh, I can start making some better quality videos without having any frame drops. We'll see whenever I get it in. I uh, paid a pretty good amount of money for the computer, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. We'll see when I get it in. And... Let's start this up. There's plus, this is supposed to be updated with the controls and everything. Because of the first video, um, it had a lot of issues with the steering. I, it was like really sensitive. You could like barely test the controller stick and it would just like jerk over like you completely turn the entire wheel. Uh, it's supposed to be fixed. So I got the updated version. Take our short little run going from uh, going to Redding, California. So, this will give us a chance to also to see the rework of California. All right, let's get her started. Tries to not always stop. Uh, I'm like half asleep right now. Uh, I'm only making a video because I took off today. Uh, we finally got moved and everything. Got my internet turned back on and everything over here at this new place. Took all weekend to uh, move, but you know, I get the next weekend. It's going to be a nice and relaxing weekend. We still got a lot of. Uh, unpacking to do now since we packed and it's always fun if you ever moved you, you understand where I'm coming from it takes a lot to pack up and then a lot to pack out to take everything and put it in their place and organize and, and all that fun stuff but I'm glad we got the internet uh, started back and everything So, and I'm so glad to see the shipping tracking for the uh, for my computer and I also ordered me a desk a bigger desk so that way I can hold the tower and two monitors and whatnot and that actually shipped yesterday and from what the tracker says it's supposed to be here tomorrow so so I'm kind of excited about that it's a real nice gaming desk. Uh, it's about 63 inches lengthwise and it's like 29 point something width. So it should be pretty well big enough to cover uh, oh yeah, steering's way better way better than what it was because I could barely turn that wheel and it would just go flying that's yeah, a lot better, a lot better than what it was. So glad he fixed that. Uh, but yeah, um, get my desk in, have a new, entirely different setup and everything. That'd be great. Uh, 
Now I'm driving this one on a different profile. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the uh, John Ruta 389 on par with uh, seeing what happens when the tires don't get changed. Um, I'm still working on that. And I really had a chance, really, because of the fact over the weekend I was uh, moving everything. I put out one video uh, with the Freightliner XL uh, by John Ruta. I'm still going to probably purchase the 362 next or the Highway Killer Kenworth. I'm kind of undecided, but I'm going to have every one of them. And we have a variety. Uh, okay, that was weird. Just a random barrier. Car crash into it. I'm just really excited to get my computer. I've been waiting for a while now. I'm just really excited to be getting it. It's coming sooner than I thought it would be because they said an estimated time not until the 13th to have a shipping date, but it really got done a little bit quicker than expected. And I'm glad for that. I'm so, so happy. Still a little bit of interior view. speeding past him and he didn't lock me up. Oh well. Unless I wasn't a cop. Looks like it's taking us down the back way. No interstate driving here. this truck too. Can't wait to see some more comes out with. Hopefully get some more uh, cargo uh, cargoes added to it. Different kinds. Or maybe some add some more uh, trailers. Would be nice. Different styles and everything. One thing that I don't get though is still I haven't seen any type of unless I'm just not looking hard enough but I ain't seen no type of a uh, um, car haulers for an actual semi truck curious on why I just kind of wonder why I mean it's part of the game I mean I don't understand why you can't have an ownable one it's quite weird but I'm pretty sure eventually they'll bring it out or somebody will create one I'm surprised nobody has it yet I don't know if it's because they ain't got a template for it or what consumption from what I read of it because uh, for some reason last time I made a video on this it sucked the gas like it wasn't nothing and I had a full tank of gas to get my computer this week. 
can't wait. And if it's coming Friday, then it's the perfect time. Because, well, for one, I'm off on the weekend and I get it set up and everything. It's the only crappy part is, is having to redo all the downloading. I mean, I got 400, 400 megs. Ah, oh, just barely. Come on. I stopped. the way the truck looks. You got different colors you can choose from. Uh, lost a little bit of frames there, but it ain't too bad since I ain't been running that heavy traffic pack. Extra traffic and everything. It's kind of let up on the frame drop. It's not too bad at all. And there we go. The beautiful Ram from uh, John Ruda with a gooseneck trailer. Got some different types of hauling stuff. I know I've seen pipes and I got this one right here and I can't remember exactly what the other one was. But uh, if you want to try it out yourself, John Ruda sells it. I think it's like $25 like all those other mods are. But it's well worth it. If you don't like paid mods, I'm sorry. I feel like sometimes paid mods are way better than freebies, uh, depending on the person who's making it. But it's got a lot of detail into it that I really like. And I mean, you only pay once and you get free updates for the rest of the time. So if you don't like it, I mean, you don't have to get it. It's up to you. But there's also uh, different uh, people out there making mods and everything that you can choose from. And on that note, can't wait to see my computer come in. Maybe we can have better quality looking because I really want to try out that JBX mod for graphics. Uh, I know you got to pay for that too, but from what I've seen of people who's already got it, uh, it's well worth it because the skybox is entirely different. The shading is way better and everything. The just looks ten times better than what it uh this one looks like I mean don't get me wrong this looks really good and everything they put a lot of detail into it but uh, the better skybox and everything better foliage it probably looked better overall with a uh, the better graphics card I'll have anyway but we shall see when I get it and I will make a video on that and uh, I shall see you all in the next one